Hello, welcome to a daily challenge run with me, me, oh, that's one of Jeff, sorry Jeff, look, I'm just going to play Isaac, you can watch it if you want to play along, it's the daily run, it is the 7th of the 7th, 2017, no, 16, what a uh, sorry lack of poetry that this date has afforded me, let's just fight the boss. Obviously, we're going to go back and find out what the item room was. What uh, amazing things we could have had to help us out on this fateful run. The last one I did was obviously the 4th of July. The uh, the actually fateful run. Shoot the thing into the... Oh, that was such a missed opportunity. Shoot it. I mean, we're slow and our shots are bad. <laughs> so I can't really be too salty that we can't hit Lil Horn with his own bombs. But... It would have been such a clutch play, right? Oh, you bastard. Well, there go all the fires. Hopefully we don't find a reason to kill ourselves on this floor because all the fires were gone. If Ennis is the burning basement, there'll be plenty. Oh. Maggie's starting damage is fairly tedious. I think that's a fair way of describing it. I would like it if you were just, like, spawn next to your bomb and then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then actually be in range of it. Well, that's a new one. Gonna get rid of this because, as Maggie, we are low maneuverability for sure. Yes! Uh, yeah, that's really good. Tears up and the range, and we should probably pick up the, the colourful HP. Maybe we should have saved that for the... Yeah. Okay, those are multiply a bad play because did I not just say, hopefully we don't find a reason to kill ourselves? There is an opportunity, there is a chance that we find a reason to kill ourselves if we find Dark Judas. It's almost inconceivable that we don't just, you know pull the trigger on that one, become Dark Judas, and get an amazing damage upgrade from it, uh, and having extra spirit hearts on the ground would certainly assist us in that respect, because then we would be able to overcome the fact that Dark Judas has fuck all HP. And, if we get hit on the rest of this floor, we'll have wasted spirit hearts, because we want to use those on a deal with the devil, or to finance a deal with the devil. Not even to finance a deal with the devil, to ensure that we qualify for a deal with the devil, where it doesn't matter, we got faith reward, which is shit. Um, to ensure that we qualify for a deal with the devil by not taking red heart damage on the next floor. Honestly, I'm pretty sure I don't know what umbilical cord does. Now, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that I believe I remember reading, when I looked for it, <laughs> that umbilical cord causes little Steven to spawn if you get down to half a heart on a room. And it spawns for the remainder of the room. That is so not worth taking that I didn't even take it. You know, it's a, we don't have a trinket, and I would rather not have a trinket than have a trinket that is that bad. I'm not even going to capitulate and give it the time of day. I'm not going to suggest, I'm not going to validate it. You know, sometimes invalidating is usually a, a social faux pas, or at worst, a, a manipulative way of, you know, ruining someone's ego or confidence. But in this case, that seems like a perfectly valid thing to do to a piece of bullshit trinket like that. You're not worthy of this world. How dare you show up on my run. Taking up a valuable slot that could have been given to this key right here. We only have two cents, so there's no point trying to get into the shop. Because even if we did get into the shop, we would have two cents. That's not even enough to buy our half price spirit heart. Toxic Shop, however, is absolutely fantastic and should be taken at every available opportunity. So I'm super glad that we went to that room and not the... Uh, not the shop. Even if we had had enough money, I would rather have had that than anything that I could really conceivably get from the shop, considering we haven't taken much damage now. In another life, maybe I would have been in a bad way, especially considering we're playing as Maggie and I wouldn't really blame anybody who at this stage had already taken a shitload of damage because they are just sick of the tedium of playing as Maggie. Uh, but, oh shit, the bag. <laughs> I mean, at least we have a small amount of extra damage from Fate's Reward, right? But I seriously doubt that we can even destroy this thing. Nope. So, uh, Ragman is a, a another tedious, tedious fight. We haven't had a damage upgrade yet. And now, fear not, we do have two Spirit Hearts, which I'm glad that we've managed to keep alive for the rest of this, for the entirety of this war, I should say, because being able to protect ourselves from this Ragman fight is supremely va ooh, supremely valuable. And we did kill it with the red, with the, the black heart there. Now, I'm not going to take that just yet. And the reason I'm not going to take that just yet... Now listen. Now look. I 
mean, we might as well take both. We've got a shitload of HP. Um, this could have been something like Abaddon or Nine Lives or something, which would cost us all of our HP. Even though, it, you know, if, if you take Abaddon for two hearts, it still gets rid of all your hearts. If you take Guppies, if you take Dead Cat for one heart, it still gets rid of all but one of your hearts. So, we could have come out of that stronger. We didn't. Well, we, we kind of did, but it didn't matter that we took it afterwards rather than beforehand. I really want to replace the spacebar item. Ooh. Small rock. And a secret room. More bombs is actually fine. As long as there are more opportunities to use bombs valuably like that one. Uh, help. <laughs> Sister Maggie is kind of okay. We don't have a great amount of damage, and having two familiars, which could benefit from uh, BFFs, for example, doing a little bit of extra damage doesn't hurt at all. And I did think there might be a secret room here, but I wasn't quite sure how to... You know, I didn't know how to express it. I didn't know if you would understand. Uh, so, pretty glad that the bombflies found us a secret room for us. This room is a bit of a ball ache when you're slow like Maggie. So any damage upgrade would be great at this point. Horror Babylon will eventually be a damage upgrade. If, if, if we can get down to zero red hearts and still basically be fine. Still no point going to the shop, which is apparently right here, unless it's a library, which I doubt. No point collecting that either. So if we can sell our HP sensibly and not take so much damage that we can't survive on the remaining spirit hearts, then the Horror of Babylon will be said damage upgrade that we need. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> and other French. Um, but I, I don't know if it's worth trying to get it to happen. I mean, there's been no opportunity to get into either of the boss trap rooms that we've been locked out of so far. Slightly a lie. If we wanted to, we could have done so much. If this uh, fly, by the way, could follow us a little bit closer, that would be splendid. It, there was an opportunity on the first floor to um, uh, take red heart damage so that on the second floor we had only one red heart and then use young heart to get back into the room if we discovered that it was a mob trap room rather than a boss trap, blah blah blah. Basically we could have min-maxed it by gambling on the first floor that the second floor would have a boss trap room and spend all our red hearts on the first floor, but A, I took the spirit hearts at the end of the first floor too prematurely, and B, that's bullshit, why the hell would I do that? I will use a bomb here. That seemed to work out well, especially since we picked up uh, Burnt Penny, which I didn't mention because I sort of forgot. <laughs> Um, now Burnt Penny, that's how you do that by the way, I learned, uh, gives us a good chance to drop a bomb whenever we pick up a penny, which is obviously for a daily run, a great source of points income. And we have 15 cents now, so I think I will actually head, to nip back to the shop while we still can, so whilst it's only, you know, so many rooms away rather than one more room away, it's, it's <laughs> this room. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter, those spikes are not active, so they won't hurt you. Even though it looks like they will. Fanny pack could really help out, actually. I think I'll buy it. You don't get anything for picking it up, but you get anything when you get hit, and I'm going to get hit. You know, let's not pretend that I'm not going to get hit for the rest of this floor uh, run. We are going to Mom. Mom's foot type Mom, not Mom's heart type Mom. So, we need a way out. <laughs> we need to figure out how to get beyond that. Or we're going to be stuck in the doldrums of... Oh, that was really bad. See, I told you I was going to take damage. We're going to be stuck in the doldrums of people who didn't get to the, you know, the womb at all. Let alone people who got all the way to maybe Shoal. If nothing else, we want to be able to teleport out of, hopefully, boss rush, but obviously just the mom fight, if not boss rush. In order to try and maybe do a self-sacrifice room, hopefully we'll have the HP necessary to do so. A tears upgrade, as Maggie is actually fine. Um... Yeah, we want to go faster to get to boss rush, but as Maggie, we're just generally too slow. Oh, I pressed F to shorten the screen. Don't look. Uh, yes. Although... Get rid of this. I'm scared of it. 
Don't shoot me. Okay, good. Now we come back out and go back in again, and then this will make sure that we're lined up with this Joker so that we can make sure we give him as much, you know, snake oil HP as we can. We have got Horror Babylon right now, but I'm slightly concerned by the fact that... Oh, that's not good. Oh, jeez, help. Ah, that's our card. I'm slightly concerned by the fact that we don't have enough HP to make it work. So if we can get more Spirit Hearts, I'll gladly use that particular fellow to a deeper extent. I believe that's our question marks pill in there. Now, I have trouble with colour, so I'm not entirely convinced that I'm going to be able to recognise the question marks pill a second time if we do find it. Which is a problem. But we'll blow up this and see if we can get... We've got our teleport card, by the way. But we're not really going fast enough to... Oh, we've got another teleport card, which I might use right now. I might use to get it out. Might use it to get out of the cursed room. Ah, oh, fuck it, let's do it. Copy. Shit. <laughs> Ooh, more poison damage. This is actually also a really good item. Combine this with toxic shock, and we're basically beating the crap out of the game very early on. No, not very early on. It comes to. We're doing okay for time, but it's so easy to slow down. I got confused there. I was thinking I was saying speed down or slow up. My my brain told me that this was not the correct turn of phrase for a you know a, a lifelong fluent English speaker. You know, who's not only not only is it my mother tongue, but of course I'm from the country that birthed the tongue in the first place, so it's even more than just a mother tongue. There's small rock, we can't fucking get to it because Great. <laughs> Wouldn't mind a uh, Hanged Man card then, or just straight up the ability to fly. Tell you what, just give me all three guppy items on this one room here. This one boss fight. Which we won't be able to afford. Well, okay. Give me three guppy items, one of which is nine lives. And we'll just call it a day, yeah? Our, our, actu Ooh. our straight up damage. No, no deal with the devil for me. Our straight up damage is great. Uh, it's shit. But our extra damage is actually fine. Got some more HP. Mostly because of all the the poison effects that we've got associated with it. Now, when we walk into a room, we do a lot of damage to enemies. Of course, the more enemies there are, the more damage we do. Sort of by design, I guess. Uh, we do a lot of we do creep damage for every single shot, and plus on top of that, we've got all the. I think we might get some damage upgrade just from the shots hitting. I don't think any of them does poison damage though, which is strange. I'm not sure what to do myself here. We've been to the shop and item room. I think we might just leave. Oh no, I want my full card, don't I? And there's a bomb. Uh, I haven't done these rooms, of course. It's a bit of an issue. But everything died, so that's fine. Oh, I didn't need to do that. It's fine. Maybe we can get something out of this demon judgment. I think I will spend a little bit longer. Of course, we get out of bus rush at the end of it rather than at the start of it because this is a daily run and we get points for doing that and we care about the points that we get for doing that. I don't know how this room works apart from the fact that obviously toxic shot. Oh, what a bad dad, bad dad, dad bodge. What a dad bodge. Dad, why is this shelf so wonky? Fuck me, die. <laughs> Jesus Christ. None of my familiars are hitting that at all. This is a pain in the ass. Right. Give me something cool. I think I'm going to stick with what we've got, actually. Difficulty with this... Oh, interesting. Here. I was going to say the difficulty with that was that... Um, what was I going to say? Read my mind for me and fill it in. We've got a speed upgrade somehow. Roid Rage. Roid Rage is a speed upgrade, which actually really helps, because I was feeling very sluggish. <laughs> I can expect being Maggie. Um, shame we can't get that. There was no... I wanted to get my fucking fool card, didn't I? We'll get another one. And if we don't, we just end it. Honestly, I'd rather get to boss rush and that be the end of my run than get out of boss rush and do more. I feel like it's more valuable to succeed at boss rush. We can't do hush, even if we do get past this room. And I wouldn't mind if the game would like to hook me up with a few more spirit hearts or even demon hearts. But anything but... Fucking yum heart. Well, we've already got a deal with the devil on this floor, so I guess that I don't mind that um, we're rolling on red hearts right now. But don't forget, 
I didn't play the Demon Judgment until Horror Babylon came into play because we had only the one Red Heart left. Uh, spirit, like half the Spirit Heart in fact, left, so that would have probably been a bad idea. You can see how bad our damage is when the enemy that we're fighting doesn't take creep damage. Lump of Coal helps. And now we don't need to worry about the fact that that just gave us a, a bullshit load of I took away uh, our, our, our Red Heart so now we can't get a deal with the Devil because we already got one. It's Krampus. Krampus gave us what we... Honestly, I was going to say gave us what we wanted. We do usually want Lump of Coal, but this time Krampus' head would also have been fine and probably in fact preferable because it would have been able to get us through some big rooms with no real uh, concern for our safety. Good. That went well. Ah, I didn't mean to take that. I didn't realise it was there until I'd already picked up the bomb. We'll just have to not get hit. I wouldn't mind... I mean, at this stage, you just, eventually you have to just say, look, Horror Babylon is a pipe dream. We could get it. No doubt about that. But it's going to be very difficult to do so. Worried about that secret, that curse room as well, because if we go into the curse room, we leave us our eternal heart. And honestly, I'd rather have enough HP to at least make our um, young heart workable if it's what we're going to be stuck with for the rest of our natural born lives. Oisky poisky. So how about this weather, eh? Oh, well, there goes my eternal heart. Guess we go to the curse room now. This is I fucking hate these enemies. I've never figured out how to beat them. And we're doing such little damage. We're gonna be a I wouldn't have mind Krampus' head just for this room. Give it back after that. Keep yum heart, but... Might as well go to the curse room now. As possibly mentioned. Uh, no. None of that. Where are you? I assume they spawn near you so that you can reach them. We'll use Yum Heart when we're down to a, a full red gap. Hello. Oh dear. We'll use it now in case we get hit. Not that it matters. Another coin. Not a fan of this button right here. Yep. Yeah. Just leave. <laughs> Who cares? We got our battery recharged, which is nice because... Oh, there's a spirit heart in there. We can, um... can use it. It's in some thingies, but at the same time... Maybe it's worth taking the red... Let's come back to this room. Oh, shit. Oh, chariot. The chariot. Pretty good use of that card, I believe. If you're going to have a chariot card, and then you're going to put a bunch of consumables, get it by spikes. Use it, man. That's what it's there for. Please. Oh, my goodness. I didn't realise you were a champion. I mean, I did, but I thought that you were a champion because you were leaving the slowing creep, not because you were going to, you know, explode into multiple tears and hurt me. Which you didn't, because I dodged it, because I'm MLG, but... Yeah, it's a bit snide. Do you want to come over here and... Oh, okay. Hoping to blow up these skulls. Sure, we'll take Zodiac. Hoping to blow up these skulls and maybe get a card that lets us get out of boss rush. I don't know. We really need to try and make the most of our teleport card opportunities. I, I understand, but I'm not sure if it's correct, that your, um, if you don't pick up small rock, you can find it again. Is that right? Like, it'll show up a second time. If you didn't pick up the first... Oh, yes. We'll take this as well. Pop. Now, this is not a teleport card, but it could be good in any way. It's two of diamonds, so that basically pays for this floor, this room. Which is excellent. We've now got sack head. Uh, which is going to turn a lot more consumables into sacks, although we're not going to have too many if we can't get out of here in time. War, huh? When did I get Gemini? Oh, Gemini will be what we got from Zodiac this time. Hopefully we get something actually worthwhile next Wow, ah, floor. No, 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 no. This is bullshit. This is a small room. You can't do that shit. Again, an enemy that is not taking creep damage is turning out to be fucking impossible to deal with. So, thanks for that. There we go. Now you take creep damage. And you went latch, latch, must lunger. Why do I do videos if I can't fucking speak English? Huh? 
We've already been to this deal with the devil, so we don't really care about it. We can get it anyway. But now we've got some good protection against our spirit hearts on the next, uh, with our spirit hearts against our red hearts on the next floor, which is now this floor. Just curse of darkness, which doesn't fill me full of joy. But someone was saying on uh, Reddit that the thing they dislike most about curses is that it doesn't change the way they play the game, and I have to agree. To be honest, I have to say that that does appear to be the case. Wow, that was a great shot. <laughs> It does actually appear to be the case. Push me. Oh, thanks. Um, they're just annoying. Right? Two of hearts. Suicide King. Uh, I'm going to take two of hearts because I'm scared of accidentally, but Suicide King could actually turn out to be great. This is shit, but okay. Like, no curse. Ah! I was thinking that's going to pop back up just as I go in, and it didn't pop up, so I went in. No curse actually alters what you do. Like curse of darkness just makes it darker. Two Another two of spades. of spades. We've got a minute to get to boss rush, which is possible, but doesn't seem likely. I mean... We've got a minute to get to the mom fight and beat the mom fight, and we haven't even found it yet. And we haven't taken any damage upgrades. Our best bet is to use the orbital right now. Okay. <laughs> Just leave that room. Fine. And I can't see. Like, Curse of Darkness, as noted, it's annoying. It doesn't really change the way you play the game. I can't see my orbitals. I can't figure out what I'm doing, but at the same time, it's not like it's that big a deal that I can't see my orbital. Not that I'm bad at them anyway, so it doesn't matter, does it? At least these things are pretty hard countered by creep. If we can get out of the mom fight. Look, we're not going to make boss for us because we don't even know where it is. Range down. Range down. Range down is okay. So we might as well come in here. There is a secret room. Uh, secret room. There's a tinted rock outside here. Now, it is possible to give this thing two hearts. Time it, right? 48 hours. I'm going to use that. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Uh, but often I screw that up. There's two more spirit hearts, which actually really helps, right? To help with boss rush, obviously we've missed it, but we missed it. Right? Puberty is meaningless. Unfortunately, we didn't get to play that demon judgment until we could get into the, the boss trap room, which is really annoying because we've had to skip several rooms, which all were points on the table, just because we weren't allowed in. We've missed boss rush because we went so slowly because we couldn't fucking see what we were doing. But we've got a lot of points on the ground anyway because... Might as well use that. Strength. Not a teleport card, unfortunately. We can't do that yet. We could get the poop. That's not what I'm... Oh, hello. Not what I meant. Again, it doesn't... As that person noted, it doesn't change the way you play. It just makes the things that you do, that you normally do, that much more annoying. Actually, this is the entire floor. We're done. So, <laughs> shit, I guess. Blank card, hanged man. Finally, I get a decent space bar, excuse me, space bar item. And it's not good enough. So we are done. That's it. Unless we get some special deal with the devil that allows us through, we fight mom. We pick up the extra consumables from this. Ooh, this being said, a lot of these could be sacks, right? Yes, some of these are sacks. Which could be cards. Which is a full card. So we're back. However, we're not back because we actually need an AWAS room. Ah, shit. We've got blank card full and there's no use to it. I mean, Curse of Darkness sort of stops you from being able to identify a lot of things. Like, I wasn't sure if this was Red Mom, right? Or maybe you can't identify champions so which is basically what I just said so rather than rather than being in the right position to avoid taking damage from the blue champions that explode at you you're thinking it's a you know, red champion or something and expecting it to have more HP which doesn't happen but it could do but even then you wouldn't it wouldn't change the way you play the floor it would change the way you fought an enemy and you'd be wrong and it'd be frustrating Ah. Take this. We'll go in here. Because it could have been the shovel, right? Ah, oh, there's a spirit heart in there. 
Unfortunately, we did not get any further than we could have. 617th suggests to me that a lot of people didn't get very far, but that a lot of people actually did. So that's a, that's a decent score, but it's not that good. But uh, I enjoyed it nonetheless. Uh, I mean, because we succeeded at a Maggie run, which is always enjoyable. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will be joining for me for the next one. Look, I try to do these videos, but I cannot speak. So I don't know why I try. It's very existential. It's deep, man. Whoa. I'll see you next time.